It's time for the Giz Whiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1711, recorded Thursday, January 24th, 2019. It's a boat! It's a plane! Yes, it is! On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have CES Part 2. Some great new gadgets from the CES show. We also have a letter and a warehouse. All next on The Giz Whiz! It's the CES show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, your ch- chief... Um, Vice President Officer of Gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good myself. Doing really good. And we are talking about Consumer Electronics Show. I keep forgetting to keep sending out emails. Don't call it CES. I really hope it's very. It's very hard not to because everything is CES unveiled. CES. I feel like there's just one PR person that that had this idea. Probably high up, VP or something, and and no, everybody else is just sighing and just trying to keep their jobs, so they're going along with it. But no one said, you know, no one no wants to call it the Consumer Electronics Show. They want to call it CES. Yeah, yeah. That's what I feel like is going on there. <clears throat> um, I just got back from uh, San Antonio, actually. Oh we, yes, did you go to the, the River show? Walk thing? I did, I did, love oh, it. That's uh, San Antonio is actually that. one of my favorite cities. Um, uh, and part of it maybe I've only ever seen the downtown and been around downtown. I haven't actually been out to the suburbs or anything like that. But uh, it's a really well-maintained, clean city. It's awesome to walk around in. They have been taken over by Lime Bikes. And uh, this is something you guys don't have in New York yet, do you? New York keeps no. them away. Um, yeah. yeah, we have a city scooters. bike that's fairly yeah. uh, fairly well run, but you have to park them. And... Yeah, no, this is not like that at all. It is pure anarchy. Um, Lime bikes everywhere. This is, there's four companies. There's Lime, um, Jump, which is owned by Uber, uh, Bird, and Razor, which I didn't, I didn't, you know, Razor, the like scooter yeah. company. Yeah. Yeah, and they make uh, rentable scooters, electric scooters. I had no idea. Um, and they, those things were everywhere. The worst, they were the worst, though. Um, but yeah, so those have taken well, over. So what, what, what is the, how do they make money? You rent it, but right. the object is you Super leave it expensive. anywhere, so, right? Anywhere. So you, there's so many of them. I mean, they're literally like trash just everywhere, except that they're <laughs> 500 to $1,000 scooters just sitting around. And out on your walk from one part of the city to another, you'll most likely come across one or two or five, uh, and then you'll pull out the app and you'll scan a QR code that's on the electric scooter. It'll unlock and the pricing is super simple. It's a dollar to start and 15 cents every minute. So okay. you, can, you can spend a good long time on them. Um, and it's uh, the most I think I ever spent was like $8. Um, and we were literally just, we just unlocked a few one night and just literally just scootered around and had fun playing in parking lots and trying not to bang our heads against the cement um, and having a good time. I mean, it, they were, okay. I, I hated these the first time I saw them. And it's because the right. first time I saw them, it was in my city. I was thinking, oh, <laughs> these are ugly. These are horrible. I hate them. Um, but being a tourist and having those around was awesome. Like I, oh, okay. I, I would walk two blocks and be like, oh, I need a scooter. I can't walk. I need an electric <laughs> scooter. Um, and then there's this whole other side, um, very much like Uber or Lyft, where everything um, is very almost like crowd driven. You know, almost anyone can sign up to be an Uber driver or Lyft driver. Oh, unless you're in a okay. city that has like a lot of... Um, uh, you know, legal uh, hoops to jump through. Um, but they have this program where you can charge the bikes and you get paid to charge them. So you log into an app and if you have a truck, you can drive around the city and find bikes that are low charge. You throw them into the back of your truck, you take them to your house and you plug them in 
and then the next morning you go and drop them off on a corner and there's, there's no like official license. This isn't the company doing it. It's just someone who's signed in through the app and they get paid um, to charge up these, you know, like a few dollars a scooter. But if you do 70 of them every day for a week, yeah, you can get yeah. a few hundred bucks. Um, oh my God. So yeah, so uh, in, in, anyway, so that's how they get charged is people find dead oh, ones okay. and charge them up in their house. I mean, yeah, and it's pay as you, well, each, each service is a little different. Some of them are pay per ride. Uh, Lime uh, is kind of like a gift card that you have to have a little bit of cash in the app, in your wallet. And then okay. you'll, you know, once you're out of money, it'll reload at 20 bucks or $10 or something like that. Wow. Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, the scooters were really fun, actually. Um, and then the show PAX was awesome. It's a it's a video game show. It was the first PAX that I haven't had to work in oh. like, a lot of PAX. And so it was just super fun just to hang out with friends and see games and play games. And you, and and you must be a big celebrity there, right? Uh, not big. <clears throat> it's, you know, it's, it's so funny because at some conventions, oh, yeah. Minecraft conventions, absolutely. But just a general PAX, like video general video game, um, I maybe got noticed like three or four times. Um, okay. Which, you know, it was I was never sitting there like, God, avoid, the, <laughs> God, avoid the fans. You know, like right, it was always right. wonderful if someone was like, "Are you OMG Chad?" It was like, "Yeah." Oh, that's so. Good. So yeah, not and a that, And that person was always Josh, our producer. <laughs> exactly. Josh right. kept, if no, kept if trying to no crowd. Josh would boost run out, my come ego. Back and go, oh, are you um, G G Chad? Exactly. He'd go and switch wigs, and and yeah, he'd make <laughs> me feel real good. That's why. That's why we pay him. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I had a good time. Um, did you Great. happen to do anything over the week? Oh, this is the worst week in the city ever. It was uh, Tuesday. It was four degrees. Holy actual temperature. Moly. And the wind chill was 20 below. I have never been so cold. <laughs> and I and I love that the landlord emailed everybody. Uh, I, oh, we know it's cold, but do not light your oven and use it for heat. <laughs> really? What? Uh, so Dennis, I said to Dennis, you know what? Uh, we'll just say that we bought a 100-pound turkey. <laughs> and at an hour a pound... It has to be on for a hundred hours. Wait, is that something anyway. people do? Is light their oven to heat the house? Oh, didn't you know that? Yes. No, in, I've never done that. In, in, in cities where there are winters and there's not enough heat, people light the oven, and you have to be super careful because of uh, carbon monoxide. Right. Um, and also, you put pots of water in there so that it's also giving you a little bit of humidity because it tends to dry out the room. Wow. Um, yeah, but it's like a yo-yo. Today was 50. Tomorrow's going to be 28. Yeah. It, it's just bizarre. Now, I don't, I don't mean to sound crass or like, like why, why not just like go get an electric heater? Oh, I have those. Okay, good. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I, I have no. The, the, the problem is this building is an older building, and everything leaks. There's just like uh, no. It's just that that if you put more than 15 amps on any one circuit, oh, yes. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all everything goes out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I, I mean, it was it's sort of like, like if something works, why you know why fix something? Yeah, that's yeah. Working? No, no. I I, I had an electric heater at one end of the apartment, oven at the other end of the apartment. Interesting. Uh, and it's rare that it goes down. That yeah. low. normally the electric heater just keeps the uh, things doing well, and and that's because but, the the whole building is like on one heater system, like a boiler. Uh, yeah, yes, the the he, it's on a boiler, and the city. I think the city is. It has to be at least fifty eight overnight, and it has to be at least sixty five during the day. Uh, but the buildings are so drafty that it's very hard to. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what up. I meant by like leaky. Is I didn't mean yes, like water. Yeah, that, yeah, I meant that, like yeah, yeah, like heat yeah. just escapes. Yeah, and exactly. cracks that, everywhere. That, that, that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> wow. Uh, but anyway, I got to go to the boat show yesterday, and oh, cool. I have a little video later. So uh, should we? Oh, you know, <clears throat> you and I both missed Foldy Mate. I know um, because Foldy Mate. Three years in a row, I guess we saw them. They were always at an event we always go to called Showstoppers. 
And this year they decided to be at <clears throat> an event called CES Unveiled that, <clears throat> sorry, opens two days before the show. So you have to go to Vegas early to go to Showstoppers. But Ritz Jamuro, who I've been on with on Twit, is a reporter for KTLA, subs for Leo. And uh, I said, did you happen to go to CS Unveiled? And he said, yeah. I said, did you happen to see Foldy, mate? And he goes, did I see it? I made a two-minute video about it. So this is it. This is our our, our, our lend us <laughs> help reporter. <laughs> this is, uh, we should remove the Gizmo. Well, just put that Gizmo's <laughs> logo on it. It looks like we we made that. Yeah, this yeah is, we did this. not make this. this <laughs> no, is, uh, exactly. <laughs> this is Rich's video. Here we go. Rich Shamiro here at CES 2019, checking out all the coolest gadgets. And luckily I brought some of my laundry with me because we're gonna check out a new machine called the Foldy Mate that will fold your laundry for you. Deborah Cohen, tell me about this machine. What does it do? So this is a robotic laundry folder and it will fold your laundry for you. Um, it will fold all your shirts, if they like the types of t-shirts that you're holding, button shirts, uh, towels, and pants. Okay, so I'm gonna load one of these in here. So what do I do? Okay, so you literally, it's really, really simple. You literally just clip the items to these clips. You see how simple it is? If you have kids, they're gonna be fighting over folding the laundry. Um, and it's folding inside, it's adapting, it's automatically adapting. It knows the, recognizes the size and the type of item. And then you'll see it appear at the bottom. I'll just press here eject so that it will actually come out. Oh, I love that sound it makes, like a little magical sound. And this shirt was folded by a robot. What types of items can it fold and how many can I feed in there? Okay, so first of all, there's no limit. As soon as that drawer is full, they will eject. Uh, the types of items, it will fold uh, shirts, pillowcases, towels, pants. It will fold items from age six to extra, extra large. Um, it won't fold large items like like sheets and uh, tablecloths or small items like underwear, socks, baby clothes or anything like that. But I love that it does the shirts. Can it do jeans? It can do jeans, yes. And towels? And I mean, this towels, is... Medium-sized towels, yes. Okay, how much is this going to cost me? Okay, so the target price is around $1,000, but it isn't final yet. We still have a long and costly uh, manufacturing process ahead of us, so it could change. All right, Deborah okay. Cohen from Folding Mate, thank you so much for the robot that is literally going to change household work. If if you want to learn more about it, go to my website. It is richontech.tv. Reporting from CES 2019 in Las Vegas, I'm Rich Demiro. Back to you. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So he, he brought shirts so we know that the machine did fold them because yeah. I think one year they threw shirts in the top. <laughs> they did. And then we, it, we, it, we realized it later. Them from you and then <laughs> it deposited them into a basket. And then it was. Yes. Would, and then they would. had a similar uh, right. set of shirts at the bottom. So we were right. fooled. Uh, so Rich showed up with two shirts. And uh, Rich, thank you so much for letting us use your video um, and well, so seeing it work. You know, I. Every, every time we bring them up, they've kind of become a joke. Because I think this is the. This is, we're into the third year. Is what I remember. Oh yeah, and and also I thought they were selling it, and then she said, still. "We still have a long road ahead of us." Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and it sounded like they were going to rethink something because they're still trying to get it under a thousand dollars. Exactly. Um, um, you know, maybe but, but families with say. a ton of kids are looking forward yeah. to this. And see. I'm, I, Obviously, the the best price point would be like hundred dollars, you know, it's something something in that range. Thousand bucks is though a lot less than I expected. I was expecting this to be like a two thousand five hundred dollar, um, you know, object. I, I'm I'm actually surprised to hear that they're aiming for a thousand, and then also seeing it. It looked pretty solid. I, I it does. Say. It, it looks it way like better. Like a printer, <clears throat> you know, on steroids. Yes, yes. It looked better than the the uh, uh, mock-ups that they had made that were much bigger. And this is starting to look like a legitimate machine. And actually, it, it, it does work. Um, but, you know, for someone who needs three T-shirts and four <laughs> sets of underwear a week. Exactly. <clears throat> and and yeah, no it has to be a it. really big family or like, a small 
ho uh, hotel. <laughs> yes, know, there like, you go. There you go. You can see that, that is, as well. That is, that is perfect. That is a perfect place. Or if you live in a big building where they have a series of washing machines, they can install one of these and charge a buck. Uh, every 20 minutes or something oh, yeah, and, and, and let it let oh. it pay back itself laundromats that is going to yeah oh, no it's very funny because Dennis and I were walking down the street and they were unloading these giant washing machines and dryers and I said wow that building everybody must be getting a new washer and dryer and then as I walked by it uh, I saw all these uh, uh, slide credit card in here so I realized they were going down into the basement of the building where they were going to have a laundry room and then people would just pay per load to do their laundry. Still, still very convenient and cheaper than having to buy right. the machine yourself. And people are mentioning that for $1,000, there is quite a lot of service that you could buy. I mean, you could basically get your clothes dry clean for a very long time or hire someone just to do your laundry or... A whole well, host all, of other things. Yeah. <laughs> all laundromat does fold everything. It, yeah. It's a little more expensive than um, like just not doing do, laundry. having yeah. them do that. Yeah, but it's like an extra five dollars for two or three bags of laundry, all neatly folded. Yeah. So yeah. that Very wins good. my vote. Awesome. Okay, that's a, kind of our first gadget, even though. It's not really one of our gadgets. No, so we're not counting it as a gadget. It. You'll still get all gadgets from us. And our first one, well, you can, you've mentioned it because it's your yeah. video. Yeah, so this as a as something that a lot of sort of security freaks slash security conscious, however you want to call it, um, people have brought up is um, if you have all of these smart home objects, Echoes, um, Google Homes, well, they're always listening to you, which some people kind of have a problem with. So this product will help solve that. Hey guys, it's Chad here at Showstoppers 2019. I'm here with Jen. And Jen, tell me about what we're seeing right here on this little Echo. Sure, this is what our product is called Mute Plus. It addresses smart speaker privacy so that you can make sure your private conversations are always private when you need them to. So this is a simple, low-tech battery-operated device um, that you place on top of your Amazon smart speaker, again, when you don't want your conversations to be heard. So I'll simply demonstrate. So this is on right now, uh, right? Alexa. So there it goes, it's working. Right now. And then you'll set the privacy timer. There's 10 minute increments. So I've got it set for 30 minutes right now. Mm -hmm. You'll place it on top and say, Alexa. And she's not turning on. Nothing. So it's a little white noise creator just it's right there. It's an device inside of it. So it's canceling you. Right. the user and so we're in a kind of a loud situation if this was in my house and my house would hopefully be quieter than this room would I be able to hear it the device yeah the device no no and what's the beauty about it whether you're up close or really far away I mean the key is even if you're up close and listening Alexa still can't hear you because yeah. of the device it's yeah, nice very nice so those privacy conscious folks now how much does it cost this is $24.99 and it's available on our website at mysmartylife.com mysmartylife.com and then you guys have some other cute a little adorable take it up to a notch and have a little fun these are called plugets mm -hmm. and they come as a three pack a family three pack they go over your five watt USB adapter chargers so they work with most smartphones and you simply just put it over your charger and claim that that one's yours and tell everyone to back off. Nice. So we've got six different styles that we're launching with. And again, this is available on mysmartylife.com for $14.99. Perfect. That about wraps it up from here at us here at Showstoppers. We're going to hear you later. Bye. <laughs> I guess uh, Dick, Dick can't handle any more. He's just done. <laughs> so there you go. The, the Mute Plus for My Smarty Life. Simple. And fairly inexpensive, 25 bucks to make sure. Yeah, exactly. And it's only for uh, the Echo devices. Echoes, yeah. Only yeah, Echoes, Echoes at the moment. I asked if it would work on Google Home minis or stuff like that. Uh, no product yet for that. Also, there isn't a constant on mode. Because it's battery operated, you could set it uh, at most for an hour, but uh, eventually it will turn off. So you do need to be conscious that you need to turn it on right before you have a private conversation um, 
So keep that in mind. Yeah. Too. You know, it's very funny because I, I, I also showed this uh, on uh, ABC News and a lot of people liked it because they said the mute button, even though these uh, all these devices have a mute button, uh, like one guy said, and I, 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 he's probably right, is that the mute is probably a thing in the program and that if right. someone it's, wanted to hack it, they could right. just. It's they probably could just, a software mute, not a yes, hardware it, like microphone disconnect from mute. the motherboard situation. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, so, so this would solve that, right, right, right. Um, so yeah, uh, and here it is. By the way, it's um, not smarty as you would. It, it's smart. My smart life. By the, way. I'm pretty sure this is it. Um, maybe. You, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to find it. I'm <laughs> not the, sure. The if company this is. It is actually. I think it is called my smart life. The device is called Smarty with a, you know, a. a whatever that thing is over the E, but I, I think the actual company is uh, My Smart Life. Yeah. Okay, well. Next. All right, so then I went off on my own with the help of Larry Gerson, who was doing videos while Josh was off with you, and we went to the Will Personal Electric Vehicle booth, and we found two things, one from one year ago and what's coming in the future right here. Hey, we're at CES. We're seeing something a little different here. And this is a wheelchair that Justin's going to tell us about. So Justin, I'll walk with you. Sure. Uh, so with this wheelchair, we can go up curb. You, you tell us. Sure, yeah. We can go up a two-inch curb. Um, goes through gravel, rock, small shawl, that kind of stuff. Okay, I'll walk with you. Okay, great. Let's, let's go. And um, yeah, the really unique part about it is the wheels. They're omni wheels, so they go in any direction. So I, without having to turn like a traditional caster, um, and the, the, the size of the wheel actually makes it great for doing some off-roading, going on uh, the mulch, the rocks, everything that we uh, just went through. Now, what would this retail for? This retails for $39.99. It's been available for a year. We launched it at CES last year. Uh, we won a Best in Show Innovation Award for it. Uh, really excited about that. And um, this year, we're actually launching our atomic. I know, we're gonna look over here. So I know there's a, th uh, a model of this chair that can go up a three inch curb, but what, are, what is going on here? Sure. You can get out of your chair. Sure, okay. <laughs> so uh, right here, actually, we're demonstrating our autonomous technology. So we have a autonomous driven uh, model that essentially you can call it to come to you. It'll pick you up and then you can direct it where to go using a, like a tablet type of a device and it will just take you there without you having to touch the joystick. So, so like, would this be a, at an airport or? Yeah, so the original intent, we're actually test piling it with a few airports right now, um, and you could essentially tell it to go to gate C28 and off it'll take you. Okay, so they sent a chair for me, Oh, and okay. at the airport, I think they'd probably have to have a bigger luggage rack, but you put your bag <laughs> yes, in the yes, back of it. True. Now, the funny thing is, I said, now, uh, is this program to drive me to the end of the track? And she said, no, you're going to drive it. And I said, well, I'll probably hit things. And she said, no, the object is try to hit things. Oh, she wow. said, we, we, so we have bumpers for hitting people and things. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So she said, drive it and try to hit that first bumper over there, and the guy directs me, smash into that, but you can't. Oh, wow. And he explains that there's this technology that keeps you a foot from everything. He says, try to drive into that one, and it stops wow. automatically. Then he says, try to back over me, and the, the guy here says, back over the guy behind you, and you can't. It just stops a foot be before you can bump into anything back or forward, uh, so cool. it stops. Uh, Will.us, yeah, so Will, if you want more information, feel free to visit our website. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take me to my next appointment. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Bye. That, that is definitely something I could see airports uh, take high advantage of because I'm always kind of blown away that... Um, there's always, whenever you see someone in a wheelchair, there's like a employee behind them, like pushing yes. them around. And every, anytime 
you need to get someone off a plane. You know, they have to call like five employees to go uh, get people off the plane and stuff like that. Uh, yes. And often, you know, it takes a long time only because as you sit there, you, you, you keep hearing, we need a wheelchair. Yeah, exactly. Like, There's like, yeah. like, like, like we're waiting, we're waiting. Um, so this so is, is, is a possibility. I'm not sure if like at JFK or LAX where there are thousands of people, if this would work. Uh, but I mean, I did try to, <laughs> I did try to hit things and, uh, the technology there just prevented me from uh, hitting anything. Yeah. So I mean, also that model that they were kind of showing off, it was so sleek that it was like the sleekest. Yeah, it was very sleek. So, so this was oh like gosh. their wheelchair model. And, uh, the, the one that they, uh, were demonstrating for a couple of years down the road, I think is just in, uh, yeah, in animation form. Yeah. But that's crazy. It's clever. Yeah. It's called the company's will W H I L L and their will dot U S. That's so neat. And, and, and sometimes yeah. there's products that's just like, that is so cool. That <laughs> I'm glad that I'm learning about it because I'm sad that I haven't up until now. Like if I, if I ever got in a wheelchair and I wanted the sleekest motorized wheelchair, it's good to know that there's something out there. Cause, yeah. Cause, you know, well, you're, you're, you're like five years from that. <laughs> oh, <you> exactly. <laughs> you know, that's why, that's why I want to know. Um, exactly. it's right around the corner for me. Um, but yeah, no, for like, me, for me. Oh, oh, no, what, what you want to go around in is what you found. Oh yes, that is true. Oh. Okay. And we're going to take a look at that right now. It's not, it's not quite as, um, diverse in the things that it can do as a wheelchair, but it is incredibly fun. So let's check it out. So are you happy with your Tesla? Yeah, you know, it's just a little intimidating every once in a while, but okay. I'm really happy with okay. it. Okay, well, I think I have something less intimidating okay. and maybe as much fun. Oh, awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Tesla Jr. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, and we're here with Jeff. Hey, Jeff, how are you going? I'm doing well. How are you? Ah, doing wonderful. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. So uh, this is Naibot Go Kart Kit. Uh, this is the uh, Segway Naibot's latest uh, product. That is, I would say, definitely the most entertaining product that Segway Naibot has ever released. And it, it's the first go kart, right? It is the first go kart released by Segway Naibot. It is a go kart kit that you can uh, use it along with uh, Naibot S. So Naibot S, when you have a self-balancing transporter and then you want it to like me add some spice to it, guess what? You can put this like I mean go go kart kit, and there you go. You have a mini racer car that can go up to 12 miles per hour in only two seconds, and it is definitely I mean we we'll say adults like I mean a uh, dream toy and then kids literal dream car. So let me make sure I understand this. So if you already have the hoverboard. You can buy this and attach it to that? That's absolutely right. That's absolutely right. That is, that is great. Very creative, very fun. And it's just like a good way for you to spend your time with family. Your uh, parents will love it. Your grandpas will love it. Your ch ch children will love it. Everybody loves it. Is there a weight limit? Uh, the weight limit for this product is 220 pounds. And, I'm and not there yet, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, how, what is the range on a full charge? So uh, on every single full charge, you can go almost 10 miles with it. And then you can see like even on the steering wheel, as well as the C, they are definitely adjustable. So we'll say like one size fits all and um, it's just very entertaining. I would definitely recommend everybody to get one and try it out. And you mentioned it was a kit. How much assembly is required? Uh, the assembly process, I would say, is fairly, fairly easy. So for the Nightbot, like I mean, S, all you need to do is pretty much, like I mean, go behind of the go car and you put a strap on. And once the strap is on, you are pretty much good to go. So do you sell it both ways? Do you sell it as the car, or do you tell people to buy the scooter first and then and then buy the kit separately? So I think like I mean the, the more natural progression is if you really love like I mean mini racer car, you can buy the whole set just like I mean all the ones. But I would say like I mean starting point you definitely would start with like I mean a Nightbot S and if you're really liking it and you want to add a little spice to it, go great, it. yes. Definitely a great add-on for you to buy. Right, so what does the uh, GoBot itself sell for? And then what does the kit sell for? 
Uh, so I think like I mean uh, for kids uh, and adults like I mean during the crowdfunding stage we receive a lot of feedback. All of the people say it's just like they really enjoy the adrenaline pumping of you know having a little a little like I mean racer car that doesn't seem as like I mean as um, as like I mean a normal uh, racer car but it go really really fast. What's the cost? Uh, the, oh, the cost, oh, my bad. So the cost here is around like I mean a thousand bucks during a CES for the promo deal. So a thousand dollars would be for everything we're seeing here. That's correct. And uh, is it available now or? It is available right now. You can buy it right now at store.segway.com. And if you already have the scooter, what is the kit part cost? Uh, if you already, okay. So if you already have like even the Nightbot S, the kit itself will be costing $799. Okay. Okay. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it'd be a nice addition to the Tesla. Do you have a second one because we have to go back to the airport. <laughs> oh, that will be. Uh, unfortunately, one thing that I need to point out for this is this is not street legal. Yeah, not street legal. Oh, we're have to Only sidewalk yeah. legal. <laughs> <laughs> safety yeah. first. Very important. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Thank, Thank you, Jeff. Thanks. Thank you. So Thank you. So it's a little hard to understand, um, and they they do have a video um, kind of explaining it. Is that you? You have two pieces to this. So that's that little go-kart thing attaches to what is a different product than Nibot S, which is what that little child came riding in on, this hoverboard. There it is. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's it. Look alike. Right. So you, you attach that with straps to the back of the kit, and then you have a go-kart that can go 12 miles an hour. Um but still, pretty cool. Um, I think it's pretty. Yeah, it is very. <laughs> it's very I mean, look neat. at him go. I mean, that looks awesome. Um, so, and I mean, if you already have the, uh, I think he said the nine bot S. I guess yeah. it's a, a more powerful one. Yeah, you yeah. just uh, S click that for guy sport, on. I assume. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, okay, good. <laughs> no, I'm just. I don't know. And, and what was the the, the clip on? Kit was six hundred bucks. Is that what he yeah, said? Yeah, I think he said seven ninety nine. What's funny is during oh, that oh, entire be. video, I was looking for. I've been looking for this buy link the entire time. There it is. So seven hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh, oh, wow. So eight hundred bucks for that clip yeah. on thing. Yeah. Um, and then is that it? it? Does it doesn't buy segue confirm? Hmm. Where is the other option? <laughs> how, how do I The, the all-in-one, right? Is yeah, I want to see yeah. the all-in-one here. Let me click this kit right here. Uh, these are the, the, those are the scooters that I was trying earlier. Because I think that scooter alone is, oh, that, uh, no kit. Yeah, so let me, let me click I think that. that's a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I wonder how much a, uh, I really can't tell. Nibot S Detachable. Like it makes it sound like there is an S in there, but he said a thousand dollars, because that's that just that's five hundred bucks. Um, yeah, that is so. That whole thing is then twelve hundred bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. One of them like is eight hundred. It's almost thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah. This package does not include the Nibot S. The buyer needs to have or purchase the Nibot S separately. <laughs> yeah. That's getting up there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at that, at, and it, I mean, yeah, and these are the kind of things I don't think you're going to find at big <laughs> discounts. No, I don't think Segway <laughs> does. Uh, yeah, big, I don't uh, think even Captain J is going to be able to find this on <laughs> Alibaba for seventy nine. He might find a look alike. You know, I, I would. <laughs> he might find a look alike. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah, um, and I mean, I just did a quick search for go kart, and. Uh, it looks like they're in the eight hundred dollar range just for a normal go kart, but I could I could be wrong, because um, yeah, because then you're paying eight hundred dollars just for the attachment. For the, uh, yeah, exactly. And it didn't look like it had gauges or lighting, or it just looked like it was two wheels and a nice looking. <laughs> Apparently, Probably. Razor makes a lot more stuff than I remember because there's a oh, Razor, Razor is doing electric oh my gosh! <laughs> look at this. Now that looks <laughs> those little wheels look like uh, this is a shopping cart with a motor. Exactly, exactly. Um, I actually did ride that at Toy Fair. I think it's been out like three years now. That also seems expensive. 
Yeah. For six hundred dollars. Yeah. But I'm not oh a yeah, kid. this is that one where that wheel does the one. Wheel. Yes. I remember that. Yeah, it, it yeah. drifted like crazy. These casters. Yes, exactly. Would exactly. go crazy. I I forgot about that. But see, that's eight hundred bucks. Oh, this is this is less. Um, I thought that was eight hundred. Yeah, see, that's five hundred bucks. Hmm. Yeah. Seems. Seem. I mean, once you get above a thousand dollars, and it mean, doesn't even fold laundry. <laughs> it does, does well, you, not you could even run over fold stuff. laundry. What are you supposed to do with this thing? Um. <laughs> I. I mean, I assume that it's popular because the Nibot is you know a segway product has been a, i remember seeing that oh. a few years ago um i will say anybody who looks at this website will get amazon ads uh or sorry not amazon ad um instagram ads i have seen instagram ads for this go-kart for the ever since ces i mean it's just like it seems like every day i see another Nibot go-kart kit ad on instagram yeah. Um, it, so. it, it's getting annoying it, that <laughs> I know. No, you know, especially when I spend the day looking up stuff. The next day, I get e I get emails from oh, and, and then I always love it when it says, "Have you changed your mind? Are you going to come back? Are you going to buy that?" Yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of terrible. I wish they had a a white noise thing. I, I guess you have to go in <laughs> uh, to the uh, what is it? The private. Uh, yeah, browsing. yeah, private browsing or some some uh, things like uh, Internet Ex or Internet Edge or whatever they call it now, Edge <laughs> uh, will will turn on do not track stuff uh, for you. Um, yeah, it, it's basically yeah. they they just use cookies and you know pixels to tell where you've been, what you've loaded before, what IP addresses looked at this page. Um, to figure out all that stuff. Oh my gosh. Surprise, surprise. Nibot Segway, a Chinese company, sells her products on Chinese markets. So apparently, it is on Alibaba. Oh my gosh. It's on how AliExpress. Much? It's loading. It hasn't loaded for me yet. Okay, okay. But it's probably uh, going to be full price. $3.59. I, I, I think it's going to be Two. full price. Oh, I mean, oh, okay, okay. Not loaded. Oh, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be the actual device. Yeah, not a I think so. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so it is. Okay, so it finally loaded. So it's five hundred and forty-seven dollars. No, no one has reviewed it yet. You can be the first mm -hmm. one order. Oh, and that's just and that's just the cart. That's just the cart. That is not. Oh, yeah. The, okay. Um, yeah. All that right. Is, that is not everything else. Interesting. Shipping only cost a hundred dollars. <laughs> what? Yikes! <laughs> no, oh. no, please. Oh, buy that off Amazon. No thanks. Um, yeah. So just yeah, yeah, normal. All right. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, my my. Oh no, this is your your product. Yeah, um, exactly. Um, I had gotten an email about it. It sounded like a good idea. Something I might be able to use when I go on a boating trip. And it's called Sat Pack, and this is it. CES 2019, and I have a text message. Oh, there's no service. I, I am totally out of luck. I can send a message. I have the product for you. So this what is, is this? This is the Sat Pack. Uh, it's a device that is a satellite messaging tool, so that if ever you're out of cell or Wi-Fi, you can still stay connected. So it clips on. I'm going to have you hold this. It clips onto your phone. Here, here's my phone. It clips onto your phone just like this, and you can use our app. You're an Android. I can't. That's, that's, that's okay. I'm going to use my phone. Okay. Sorry. Watch. He's, it, this is, he has nine phones under the desk. It's a scam. <laughs> it's not a scam. So uh, if I wanted to send a message, we connect to the geostationary satellites of Intelsat. So I'm going to put in... Let's turn, turn that way a little. Okay, cool. So I'm going to send a message to my Android phone, which is right there. I'm going to say... Hi, Dick. And then we're going to send and retrieve a message. And so we use our pointing screen to orient toward the satellite. Now, this is actually <laughs> wow. a simulation because we're inside. Okay. But this is what it would look like if oh. we were outside and actually going over the satellite. So I'm sending message and checking for new messages. And then it goes right into the regular cell network. So I just got my phone here. 
and I have a new message from Darren. It says, hi, Dick. And I actually included my location in case there was an emergency and they needed to be found or be retrieved. What is that retail for? So the set pack is $249, uh, but we think the real deal here is it's pay per use. So there's no subscription for needing it. So I buy the hardware and then I actually keep one in my car so that if ever there was an emergency, I would stay connected. Each is, so this is anywhere in the world? Anywhere in the U.S. In the U.S. Right now we don't have permission to go elsewhere, but hopefully in the future we will. We've had a lot of interest here to go international, but we're still at the beginning stage. Uh, how far offshore can you go? A couple hundred miles. Oh, a couple hundred miles? Yeah. Oh, okay. So the, the satellite actually covers all of North America, so we could work in Mexico and Canada, but we don't have licensing yet. But uh, that's in the plans. Okay. And then how much would a text message be? So each message is 40 cents and actually can be even less if you buy in volume. And of course, 40 cents in an emergency is no big deal. Who cares? Okay. Is there a right. limit to the message? Oh, Are yeah. you like Western Union? <laughs> it's 480 <laughs> characters, uh, which is more than actually your regular text message. Uh, so uh, you can say kind of anything in 480 yeah. characters. You could tweet. Right. From, yeah. You definitely you, you, could tweet. You could tweet anywhere in North America. Is it out now? It is out now. We launched a month ago. And your website? Satpak.com. S-A-T-P-A-Q.com. I think that's a great idea. I love that. I love, love, love that because I've, I've, you know, learned about tons of satellite products and most of them um, are, cost just uh, absurd amounts of money. But for yes. something like this, where really you're just sending a text message... Obviously, there isn't a protocol to send a text message over satellite. So what they've done, they've used their own app so that you can write a message, send your location, and all that comes through to the end user as a, as a text message, um, which everybody has. Perfect. It's, it's yeah. like the most yeah. perfect. Like they just use yeah. their, their pack to piggyback onto text message eventually, but you use their app to send whatever message you want. Um, incredible. <laughs> I love yeah. it. I no, love, love, love and, and that. I know because when I looked at Sat phones, it was not only were they expensive, they all had a monthly fee. Uh, I think Garmin finally has it down to $15 a month or something, but you're only going to use this in an emergency. So you're spending like $180 a year just to have it. Yeah. This, this way you pay the two forty nine. And I, I think which is probably much cheaper than any other satellite hardware Sat in the uh, yes. entire world. Yes, and then you buy a uh, a message card, and I think they started at five or ten dollars, and and you set, and then yeah. it has its own battery in it. No, I think it's a very clever idea. I think that's brilliant. Is to use an app so that you can send a small string of text over satellite. Um, I love that. Apparently, yeah, so Eric Stuckman is, says the there's a there's some two way satellite um, devices. No annual oh. commitment. Spot X oh. is what he's saying, but the price is. Let me click it. To, oh, oh, it's the same. It's it's about no. Yeah, it's the same. So the difference would be that this is a two way device. So you better hope that whoever has the other one checks it regularly <laughs> um exchange messages oh with any cell phone number or oh, email address oh, okay oh okay wow. we may have a sat pack uh, competitor yes yes yeah oh man exactly interesting oh my gosh and our chat room is amazing <laughs> they're great they are Bleak says, wait a minute, go to Amazon for the spot three. Oh, no. This ain't new stuff. It's new to me. Uh, GPS Messenger. It's only 150 bucks. Uh, this looks like definitely an... It's, it's focused on emergency stuff, for sure. I mean, I guess any satellite thing uh, will be. You can send it with a pre-programmed message. Oh, I, yeah, I don't like that as much. Yeah, I like that you could you could also just say, "Hey, custom me messages. Let's contact know where you are by sending a pre-programmed message." Oh, 
Um, how do you program that? Can I program it from my phone? Could I use my phone to program that? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. So there's competitors in the space. That's good to hear. I mean, this isn't a space that I focus on. <laughs> you know, no, me not, either. Me either. This is brand uh, new to me. And it's, yeah. and it's a lot so, cheaper than, you know, when I was writing my boating magazine, I probably checked oh, these out yeah. 10 years ago and they were, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars and. Yeah, there was a there was a company called Motor uh, Iridium, and then I think Motorola put money in it, and then I think they went bankrupt. Uh, Eric Duckman says Spot is oh I see, so Motorola and Iridium gave up, and ah. now Spot is oh that's the what's the, left what's left interesting. So one yeah. really neat thing um, that I need to look up on. Uh, the uh, sat packs website um but on this spot x it says that there is down here 120 or sorry 240 hours or 10 days of battery life uh which is pretty good no yeah, that is good that is good really good with a rechargeable battery. Okay, interesting. Let me see if I can find that info on sat packs. And then we just have to pray that you have an emergency where you need it. I know, exactly. That's all <laughs> you need now. I mean, with the sat pack, um, you do need to keep both your phone and the sat pack charged. Yes. But nowadays, there's a lot. There's a, I mean, I've covered, uh, we've covered here on the GizWiz uh, the, those um, solar pa panels that will power up a battery so you could keep a phone and a sat pack charge, which is good. Uh, I don't see quickly on this page how much uh, battery it will hold. Here we go, here we go. Um, fully charged battery will send and receive about 150 to 200 messages and will remain charged for about four to five months in storage. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So obviously the battery goes down when it's actually sending a message, so it can last four to five months just sitting around. And that was a uh, that was the Satpak website. Yeah, that was Satpak. Pack. All right, that's good. My cat has been locked away and is meowing for me. So anyway, there you oh. go. Two <laughs> some some really really good satellite products. Holy mackerel! Satpak, Spot. Um, that's pretty neat. I love, I love it. I'm glad that there's some movement in that space. Yeah, no, it's With great. That, it's great. Let's head on into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh. And so, as we've been saying for the past year, the Gadget Warehouse is a space for any kind of gadget. So, I found a gadget yesterday. So, when I walked into the Javits Center for the New York Boat Show, I was surprised to see this. Dun, dun, dun. It's a, and it's I said plane. to the guy, why are you at the boat show? And he said, because you can land and take off from the water in oh, this. What? <laughs> so, you know, run the, run the video. He said, go to the website. We have a video. And I'll talk over the video. So this is what I found out from the guy. It has the, 100 horsepower. Is this back here? This is, that's the plane. Okay, okay. That, that, that is it. Also, Chatron, come up with a price because it was way more than I thought. Okay, uh -oh. I'll, I'll, give you the, I'll, give you, I'll give you that hint. Uh, holds two people. The wings fold back, and he actually folded the wing back and unfolded it for me. Very easy to do. Um, he said, I said, you know, if you're on the water, how fast can you go? And he said, you, you can go 28 miles on the water because when you go 30 miles an hour, you're going to take off. <laughs> Uh, so you can land on the water on the beach. It has retractable wheels that come down. If you want to land uh, in a landing field, uh, it goes a hundred miles an hour. The range was, I'm looking here, range is 427 nautical miles. So I think that's close to 500 miles. And 
500 miles, and they make a trailer for it, so you can trailer it uh, around. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. I agree. Um, and now, it, now the thing is repeating. So the the problem is the cost. So what what well, what's up <laughs> with you, Chad? What do you think this might? It's FAA approved. Um, okay. So is this a, is this some I forget what they call them micro lights or whatever that yes I I think it's I think it's called a sport I think there's like a sport craft license from the FAA got it um what you would need for this oh oh here we go what four hundred four hundred ninety nine thousand two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so what I'm thinking is, okay, so let's just let's just, just like a sea do, okay? That that's gonna cost you like fifty thousand, probably a high end sea do. Oh, okay, yeah, you know? yeah, okay. Um, and then you you get an aircraft territory. I'm thinking, okay, probably six figures, so over a hundred hundred thousand. Then you you add these really cool things about like it has foldable wings and lands on the the, the water stuff like that. So I'm thinking, add another fifty. So 150k. Like wow, well, someone, be. someone almost got it. Got it. Oh wow! Did Ranger Rick? Did you Ranger Rick look that up online? No, <laughs> only only because he nailed the price to the penny. Okay, uh, so the base price is two six two hundred sixty nine thousand. But with everything in it, including the Garmin navigation system and everything, it is three hundred and eighty nine. You could buy a dollars. nice house with that <laughs> amount of money. <laughs> a really nice house. Holy cow. Um, I thought it was unique until I heard the pro. I, I mean, you know, if you're loaded with money, this would be something a lot of people don't have. Yeah. I mean, if you're um, a millionaire, it's only a third. Only a, yeah, it's exactly. only a third. <laughs> That's right. That's Golly. Right. And it folds up to seven uh, when it's the wings folded. It's only... Uh, it's less than eight feet wide, so it fits on that trailer. Listen, if uh, you bought this, the Joneses could never keep up. So th <laughs> you'd be the Joneses at that point. Yeah, that's right. And then Dennis had a good idea. He said, uh, can you go into a marina? And the guy said, absolutely. And I said, oh, so when you land on water, the, you can retract the wings? And he said, well, that is a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't retract the wings when you're on the water. Oh. So I, I'm not quite sure. The only way you could get it in the marina is to launch it from the trailer. Right. And then I guess putt putt out into. No, no, because you have to open the wings again. I, I don't see a use in the marina for this. Yeah. I um, mean, you, you'd almost have to boat over to the edge, maybe have someone fold both wings for you. Oh, no, I guess you can't You can't turn on the uh, propeller. The, this this big prop is what would. Um, there, there's no like. Yeah. Jet. No, and the and the wings are not automatic. Yeah. So you sort of you sort of have to almost go to the edge of the wing to fold it uh, open. I'm trying to see anyway, here. Would it be uh, able to propel you? Yeah, I guess you have to walk to the edge. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't really. Well, you know what? I I don't think we should put a deposit down just yet. No. But you know what? I think. We'll take two um, demo units, you know. I, I think we can. <laughs> if we got a well, yeah, demo I, I, unit, I have, I have I no would... room in my. I have no room in my backyard. You, you, you have a, We could land in your backyard. Exactly. Yeah. There's there's a lake not far. There's lakes all over Dallas. Just land there it there. There you go. There um, you go. Uh, <laughs> I'll take one. Sure. I'll, <laughs> I I do the FAA training. Uh, you know, if I just happen to come in, into you know, if I just happen to get one. Money? Yeah. Golly. Uh, anyway, that is they're way at cool. iconaircraft.com. Wow. Now, it looked like it was also two two person, two seater. It, 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 it is two person. It can take uh, automotive fuel oh. or aviation fuel. Oh, that's nice. That's um, very cool. The, and uh, so, so that's 500 miles. That's a lot of miles. I mean. Yeah. It, you know, it's 427 nautical miles. And I believe. Chat room, you can check that out for us. 427 nautical miles is how many land miles? I think it's more by like a fifth or something. 
Uh, oh, right. Order one to celebrate your 2000th show. <laughs> there we go. Let's do it. There we go. And we um, have so, yeah, so for. it's 491 miles, real miles. Oh, quite a, oh that's pretty good. <laughs> sort of fakey miles. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you can get to San Antonio, you know, with that. And, and you said back speed was 100 miles? 100 miles an hour. An hour? Actually, yeah. the uh, it says 100 miles in their specs, but in an article I read about it, it said maximum speed is 109. Okay. So, there you cool. go. Cool. So, yeah, that's not that bad. You can get from Dallas to Austin and under three Yeah, hours. Dallas, you can land in that river right in yeah. the middle of town. Yeah, there exactly. you go. Exactly. Yeah, Austin has Lake Austin. You just land on Lake Austin. And There's when you come up for the meetup, the, you got the Hudson River. You can do yeah. the miracle on the Hudson all over again. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> got to be rules, right? I mean, you can't just uh, land no, a I'm plane sure. in the Hudson, I'm right? I'm sure. No. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Not that's way Scully. neat. That is crazy. Um, yeah. Well, you, you have to get one to put it in the warehouse. It's in the warehouse uh, <laughs> segment. So you yeah. just got to. With that, let's move on to the least expensive segment. The letter. Oh, and there's no audio. One second. We'll redo that. The letter. Uh, letter of the week is from Roger Sperry, who says, Chad, I saw a few weeks ago. Oh, I saw this a few weeks ago and would like to have it in my shop. But the cost is a little bit too high for me. I was watching one of the latest videos. And remember, you said something about the Swiffer system for your workshop, for your wood shop. Uh, so actually, Roger, I talked about the Swiffer. But you did, you talked about soaring wood, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly, exactly. So this is what he's suggesting. He said, I think the filter would need replacing very often if I, if you did it with the Swiffer, but this is what he wish he owned. And speaking of things that cost a fair amount of money, what's your thought about what this might cost? Okay. So here, we're going to play I the was video. way off. And let's, let's see. I assume this is like a crazy filter, some flavor. Yes, it's a, it's a, ma it, it's made for uh, workshops. I okay. think to filter out uh, sawdust, et cetera. All woodworkers, professional and hobbyist, to enjoy a Just that voiceover added $1,000. Yeah. <laughs> it is important to us that everyone can breathe confidently knowing they are protected from the dangers of inhaling microscopic wood dust particulate. That is why we invented the revolutionary Powermatic Air Filtration System 1250 with micro dust collection technology. The only oh, FS unit that continually purifies shop air with ultra quiet efficiency. The micro dust collection technology cleans the shop air by it capturing has to have a the microscopic wood somehow. particulate yep. in its electrostatic air filter and redistributes clean air throughout the facility. We placed multiple units with two very different woodworking facilities and want to share their stories. Oh, okay. This, this, this Just is tell us too, how much. Too much <laughs> stories. Okay, I get it. Yeah, okay. Um, Becky guessed... 500 i i'm trying to recall now i think she's close is there a buy button let's see i yeah i'm gonna guess like uh i'm gonna guess a thousand so i'm gonna say buy now buy now dun, dun. here yeah, we go website. oh god oh you have to <laughs> okay we'll buy it from wood crafters wood craft uh, and oh, oh 800 700 sorry i can't count whoa 700 dollars Whoa. Well, welcome to sawdust in my lungs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not getting this. The thing this. is that, um, so they, they make quite a lot of sawdust catching technology. Um, many, many, um, you, you, uh, uh, many power tools, especially like table saws or skill saws or something like that, uh, miter saws, that sort of stuff, will have a sawdust output and you can hook up a, um, a bag, a right? tube, yeah, and it'll go into a, into a filter bag system, and it, and whenever you know, I've seen these in my father's shop and stuff like that. When you turn them on, the bag goes, <laughs> and then it expands, <laughs> um, and it catches a whole bunch of stuff. 
Um, on top of that, um, the the shop that my father um, had uh, uh, runs. He's a uh, middle school shop teacher. They have a oh. device that is similar to this. So this is up in the ceiling, and it just runs all the time. Uh, and it's fairly oh, it's a, quiet. Oh, it's the same company, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh my gosh, is it? PowerTech. Uh, I. Th oh, Powermatic. Oh, oh okay. wow, that looks okay. very similar. <laughs> it looks very similar. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, it's it, it's not this one. Um, and in fact, this one looks a lot smaller than the one uh, that's in my father's shop. Uh, but you know, these these this is one hundred and fifty bucks. You know, it's a lot less expensive than yeah. um, than that one. Um, I wonder if I can search for shop air filter um, and also show the other type. Uh, Go. Does your dad still teach shop? Yep, yep, yep. Still oh, does. great, great. Uh, I don't see the other type that I'm thinking of, but um, they're pretty common. You can find them at um, uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, this it's this is very similar to uh, the type um, where it just fills up this gigantic bag, kind of similar to the Swiffer um, that. Uh, It'll you know, oh, take okay. in, yeah. but this would be this would also take in sawdust directly from, say, a, a miter saw or something like that, or a table saw or that sort of stuff. Um, so I would say avoid this product. <laughs> That's in the letter. Is there's there's other ways to get your shop That's right. So clean. Roger Roger Sperry, if you're watching, check out Amazon and do some research. Yeah. You can get something similar. Yeah. For less. Exactly. I'm sure that this, you know, Powermatic is super quiet, but uh, shops are not known for being super quiet places. No, that's It's kind true. of hard to that's make a true. table saw that's quiet. Uh, <laughs> that's normally why you see people using um, ear protection in a, in a wood shop. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I, I would stay away from that one <laughs> to buy. Uh, thank you so much, Roger, for sending in that letter. With that, I want to give a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. That is our Patreon page. Patreon is a service for you to support independent content creators, and we're on there with our own site, gizwiz, uh, patreon.com slash gizwiz. So uh, please, if you enjoy the show, please consider giving back over at Patreon. Patreon is sort of a reoccurring subscription-ish type. Uh, every time we post an episode, uh, you guys give back just a little bit. And, and we're only really asking for a little bit. Uh, some of you may, may give a little more, but we encourage uh, small amounts. It doesn't have to be a ton. Uh, if Patreon's not your deal and you want to give a one-time donation or just not use pay Patreon, you can use PayPal over at gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab and there's a PayPal link on that page. Big thank you, huge thank you to everyone who has supported so far. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our patrons and to everyone who's also donated over PayPal. Uh, you guys make the show happen every single week. So thank you so much for your support. We can't do it without you. Also, while you're on the internet, head on over to gizwiz.biz. Play what the heck is it? It's the game show online. And um, I'll be honest, I, I have no idea what the, uh, this current gadget is. Here it is, the whole gadget. Nothing but the gadget. This isn't like a, a piece of a gadget. This is everything. Um, this is it. I mean, I said that I didn't know what it is, but but really, it's 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 a little bit obvious. Um, this is so they did this charity event and just they gave away really crummy looking pots. Okay, these were these were people who were learning how to throw clay on a turntable, and it, they just didn't end up. And this is what they gave out, but it was for charity. So you had to buy an ugly looking vase pot thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you think you know what it is, get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. There are six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get creative over at gizwiz.biz. If you want to watch the show live, head on over to gizwiz.tv. There, we will be live just about every Thursday from like here into the future. That every time I say that, that is a <laughs> that is a curse that will make sure that the next episode is going to be 
uh, off off uh, a different schedule. Different day, yes. Yeah, um, but. If you want to watch the Gizwiz, head on over to gizwiz.tv. There's always a little bit of a schedule reminder right there at the top of the site. So you can check that out. And uh, the site will just update uh, to have a little live player when we are live. Once you're there, join the chat room right down there. And then if you want to make sure you never miss an episode, also subscribe or watch all of our past episodes there on the site. Uh, don't forget to send in your gadget warehouse videos. If you have a gadget that you love, that you hate, that you just need to tell people about, please take a video of it and send it our way. Those emails can be directed to mail at gizwiz.tv and most likely we'll show your video on the show. Just try to record right. in horizontal mode, upload it to YouTube, don't attach it on the email, and then send us uh, that link. Yeah. And don't stuff, forget, and stuff. old gadgets too. We oh, love yeah. old, anything. old gadgets. Love, anything. Those are our favorite, for sure, is gadgets you can't buy anymore. Gadgets from a bygone era. Uh, with that, that about wraps up our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.